Good evening folks, uh, Bev here, Clerical Vision, and this is part two of the vinyl update that I was um, supposed to be doing over the weekend. Uh, let's roll this chair here, excuse me, it's just not moving the way I want it. Right, anyway, uh, so here I am, I've, I thought I'd just get on with it um, just now, I just never got around to it at the weekend, and uh, I thought I would just... Uh, do it now and that way it's done because I want to get all these albums kind of filed away and all that stuff. Um, so there's about one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's another eight to show. Uh, and some of these um, kind of make up um, the AFM Records sale. Um, I went back and picked up another handful that I had seen. In, in, in the sale that I was interested in. Um, a couple are, were not in the sale but I still got them from AFM because they're new releases from uh, this year. Uh, and there was one, how many? Just, I think it was just the one actually that I uh, got through Amazon. Um, so I'll just get on with it and show you what the, the rest of them are. Um, so this one here, um, quite a few power metal obviously here, surprise surprise. Um, this group here, Orion, um, this uh, is Life Is Not Beautiful is the name of the album um, and my how it could be so true in certain ways, um, I guess, the way the world is at the moment, but um, nonetheless. Um, great artwork. Um, I don't know a lot about this band, uh, you know, and I went and checked them out on, um, on online, I think. I could be wrong. Let me just see. I think they're from Finland, but I might be wrong. Mm -mm -mm. Um, and I can't remember if one of the guys used to be in another band because there's so many names these days I'm trying to recall and it's just not happening. But anyway, I so it, apologies for I'm wrong, but I think they're from Finland, uh, this band, and I think this is their only release to date actually, um, but it's, it's fairly new. It was 2018, so just a couple of years ago. Um, Gatefold Sleeve, that is the band there. Uh, lyrics, etc. And there's a bunch of kind of credits and thank yous down the bottom. Um, and it's limited uh, to 200 units on peppermint, it tells you. Um, kind of a, I suppose you could say in a way it's a bit pepperminty. Um, here we are. Yeah, that's one side. That's side B actually, I think. No, it isn't. That's side A. <laughs> How wrong can you be? So that's side A and side B's label. Um, but yeah, really nice and uh, melodic kind of power metal stuff. Um, and as it was in the sale, I thought, why not? So I can't tell you too much else about them other than um, I quite like it. It's very good. Um, some excellent guitar work. Um, next one is a band I have uh, been getting into recently, uh, and I mean recently because um, I picked up their new release which kicked it all off for me um, early this year, which was Sweet 226. Uh, so Sirius Black, um, I noticed uh, AFM had a couple of their other albums in the sale. Um, this one was their, uh, the debut from Sirius Black, this was the first one they put out. Um, they uh, issued 500 units on yellow vinyl. So this is As Daylight Breaks. Um, and this one features Roland Grapov uh, on guitar. Um, you know, he was in Halloween. Um, so he was one of the guys that put this band together. It's kind of like a super group. Um, there's 
Do, 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 do. There's a guy from uh, the drummer used to be in Blind Guardian. Um, there's a guy from Serenity. There's also a guy from. Um, oh God. I went and checked them all out the other night as well, actually. But yeah, so, um, you know, loads of great people. I don't know how well you can make their names out there, but um, probably not very well because it's very small text. But. There's six of them in this band here. Um, so again, another gatefold. Uh, lyrics, etc. inside. Uh, and one thing I'm just going to say here, you'll notice... Um, oh, all these records I'm going to show you here, there's only one of them that's on black vinyl, believe it or not. And that's not... it's not deliberate, it's because there wasn't any black vinyl available, so I had to pick another colour kind of thing. Um, you know, for example, the, I'm not huge. I'm not a huge fan of this kind of um, see-through Peely Valley yellow. Um, I'm sure people could think of other names to describe it as well, but um, you know, um, I would have been quite happy to have a black version of this, but there wasn't any, so um, never mind. Um, the, the main thing is it's it's. Uh, you can hear it sort of thing and you know I don't mind sort of thing so um but yeah seeing this black this is a great album um the debut it's really good it's quite well the class is power metal but they're kind of a uh, bit more traditional sounding power metal this band um well this particular album anyway to be honest with you um but very melodic uh, metal really good stuff a bunch of great musicians and so they also had this one by Sirius Black as well. So I picked it up. Um, this was, is this a second or third? I can't quite remember. But this one's titled Magic. This is more of a concept album. Um, it's actually about a magician, funnily enough. Uh, this guy on the front, I guess. Um, yeah. I'm just thinking, this is the black vinyl. <laughs> this is, <laughs> yeah, so again, another gatefold. Um, uh, on this album, by this point, I think Roland Grapple had left the band. Um, a couple of changes, but m most of the other guys are the same, I think. Um, I think maybe got two changes from what was on the first album there. Um, but yeah, again, you've still got the six members in the band, um, lyrics, etc. And uh, again, it's it, this one is more melodic than the other one. Um, slightly softer. Um, although, I don't know actually. It's just a little bit different. I suppose it's more modern uh, power metal, I guess. Um, Whereas on the other one, the, the debut, there's uh, more of a traditional vibe about it. Um, and there's the black vinyl, the rare black vinyl in this particular video. Um, so yeah, um, and it's all they're all 180 gram-ish, these things. They're certainly all round about, maybe they're 150 some of them, but they, they're all pretty solid records. So again, this is really good. There's some lovely uh, upbeat, melodic kind of tracks on this um, that I would encourage people to check them out if you're into uh, new power metal bands um, like myself. Good stuff. Uh, next one. This is a 2020 release, isn't it? No, actually, it's... what is it? I can't remember. Anyway, it's a recent release. If it wasn't this year, it was late last year. Because um, it does say 2019 on the back. So this is a fairly recent release and it's um, Brothers of Metal. This is the second album from this band. Um, em Emblas Saga or Emblas Saga. Look at the cover. There's a nice little dragon friend. I mean, look how huge this dragon is compared to this kind of 
Norwegian Viking ship here. Um, so yeah, as I think I said before, um, and when I showed the first Brothers of Metal, which is which I got up in the sale earlier uh, in July, I think it would be, I uh, that was the first one I got from them, and they're an eight-piece band. Um, so there's eight members in this band. One of them's a female singer, so she shares in the vocals as well. Just really great Nordic Viking. Uh, power metal, epic metal kind of stuff. Really fantastic. Uh, this one is a double album. There is two records, so you've got four sides. Uh, and this one is on clear vinyl. So I'll just show one because they're both the same. Um, so I have got two or three clear vinyl, but I have to confess this is not as clear clear vinyl as some of the others I've got because um, although you can sort of see through it there's more it's, it's kind of like that cloudy lemonade kind of colour if, if you know what I mean there's a, a bit of a, a film or something through it kind of kind of a frost or a fog or something or a mist but um, it is dubbed as clear so um, but yeah pretty cool um, lovely stuff. So both of these are the same and again this is just really it's quite it's quite it's quite something um, it's really excellent my kind of uh, stuff that I'm just really into them now obviously so uh, that is Brothers of Metal but you know these guys they're all on YouTube so they're dead easy to sample if, if anything takes anybody's curiosity you know so so that was uh, that was one of the ones that wasn't reduced, but um, you know it's there's still when you go to these websites you get them at a standard kind of price and nine times out of ten they're still cheaper than say Amazon or whatever over here. Um, so the next one I grabbed, which was another one that was in the sale, <coughs> um, is a, I picked up another album from this band Triosphere. Now again I picked up one from them. In the July haul from the sale, um, simply because it sounded decent, it sounded interesting on when I sampled them on YouTube, and because they're in the sale, um, I don't know. I think, um, I think also these guys are, are they Norwegian as well. I can't remember. There's not many bands just now. I think, I think they're Norwegian. But I'm, I might be wrong. Um, but these guys um, are female fronted. Um, and I think um, when I mentioned that last time, Nathan checked them out and he was kind of uh, quite liked what he, he sampled on these. Um, so, yep, definitely. Um, I haven't listened to this one yet. Um, obviously, trying to get through everything. Too quickly, uh, I've still got a few that I've not put on the tongue table yet. Um, so this one is The Heart of the Matter. And it came out in 2010 originally, um, but this is the 2018 reissue. Um, and again, it's a double vinyl, um, so you've got four sides, gatefold, and there is the band um, there. Um, these, yeah, they're sort of um, kind of symphonic power metal, a um, little bit more hints of proggy influences about this one maybe. Uh, and this is on dark green vinyl, this one, which I thought was it's kind of a nice shade of green actually. Uh, very classy deep dark green. Um, so there we have it. Uh, it's just the same on both sides. So, looking forward to spinning this one because the last one I picked up from um, uh, The Road Less Travelled, I think it was called. Uh, really interesting, really good stuff. Um, they're a little bit different to some of the other stuff as well. Um, so, they've kind of got their own sound, I would say. So, that's Triosphere. Or, ah, uh, Triosphere, Chase, oh, whatever. Um, and last of the power metals, last but not least, um, 
I decided to pick up this one off of the AFM website um, simply because this is an exclusive colour to the AFM web shop. You know, this particular colour that I got you can only get there and I thought it would be nice to complement the part two which I picked up which happens to be the French issue because it was on a, a sort of a uh, a sky blue or something like that. Um, so I thought it would be nice to get a, a, another kind of different colour for that. Um, so yeah, it's Avantasia the Metal Opera, the very first one um, that came out. Um, so I thought I'd better hurry up. And it's also the Platinum Edition because I've got the Platinum Edition of Part 2. Um, again, it's a double album with an absolutely exceptional lineup of stars, um, and it's limited to two hundred units on what is termed platinum vinyl, believe it or not. But kind of very similar to silver, to be honest with you. Um, but it's kind of uh, when you look at it, marbly, kind of marbleized. There's a bit of a swirl you can see in there. Um, so this is supposedly platinum, but yeah, it looks very similar to silver, but then real platinum and real sim silver kind of look similar as well, funnily enough. Um, so, and, and I've listened to this, and it's fantastic. It's absolutely amazing. Um, so I'm slowly but surely collecting all the Avantasia releases. Um, it is definitely a goal to get the whole lot on vinyl. Um, I'd say out of what I've heard, um, I still I still put Moonglow as my favourite at the moment. I just that's just unbelievable. Um, that's his best work so far that I've heard. But again, you get a nice bit of, uh, right up inside from Toby Tobias, um, and again, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if there's. Um, what else is there inside? There is also a booklet thing. I think this is the updated notes. Um, where am I, where am I? Ah, the, no, there's some original notes from 2000 when it was released on each song here. Um, but there's also on the back you've got some updated notes for when this was reissued in 2008. So, um, so he's kind of revisiting at a later date and on the inside you have the lyrics to all the tracks so really really lovely stuff so I was really chuffed to have that um, just amazing stuff and he is working on a new Avantasia he has confirmed that on his um, Instagram so won't be out till at least next year though um, apparently So the last two are very much more, well I was going to say traditional heavy metal, but, and I'll get back to the but, because that'll be the last one. So, so second last, I spotted this on Amazon at another decent price, so pulled the trigger. I had picked a couple more um, recently, uh, uh, fairly recently, the last few months I've got some others of Amazon of the Saxon reissues on Demon Records. Uh, so this one is um, Lionheart uh, and this was originally 2004 and this is 2016 Demon reissue. Um, it's a single album, that's the back with the tracks. Now, interestingly, the hype sticker here says, um, here it is, Lionheart, the 2004 album on 180 gram lilac vinyl, inner sleeve, features the lyric. Okay. Okay, lilac vinyl indeed. Um, it's a nice inner sleeve as well. It's nice, um, thick paper, glossy, shiny feel, smooth finish. Um, so there is a uh, lyrics on each side here. 
And here's the lilac vinyl. Um, now, as far as my eyes can tell me, um, this is blue, if you ask me. <laughs> this is like a, a sort of a royal blue. Um, I don't see any lilac anywhere on this, so I thought, oh well, whatever. They wouldn't be the first um, company to have uh, described their colouring on the hype sticker a little bit different. Um, I think uh, Music on Vinyl have kind of done something like that once, where it wasn't quite the colour they stated it was on the uh, on the hype sticker. But hey ho, that's beside the point. It really doesn't matter, you know, as I keep saying. It, it could quite easily have been black vinyl and it would have been delayed. So yeah, um, so this is another of the more recent Saxon uh, albums. It's from this century, obviously. And so I have, I think I've got about four of them now from this side of the millennium. And I have to say, I think I prefer those later albums of Saxon um, out of the 80s ones that I have. Um, and I think there's about four of them I've got as well. Um, I would say my favourite is um, What the Devil Is It Called? Power and Glory. Power and the Glory. That, I think, is my favourite of the 80s ones I have so far. Um, but all of these, um, there's just a heavy vibe. Of, you know, there's a more, obviously, a kind of a modern sounding, traditional metal sound about them. Um, but Saxon, you know, they obviously got very melodic and commercial, you know, attempted to be commercial in the 80s, as uh, many people will be aware. Um, but they've definitely returned to their own kind of heavy metal roots um, and just wrote songs the way they want to write songs, obviously. Um, and I really enjoy these ones. Um, this this is another great album. I've had it spun once and I was impressed with it right away. Um, nice pressing on the demon uh, as well. <coughs> so... So yes, and um, last but by no means least, the final record, um, which you might have seen, I posted it up on Facebook because um, I was spinning it, I had to get this. Um, we Are One, UDO, absolutely phenomenal. You know, when Darcy did his review recently, I was pleased with what he said. Because um, I was a little concerned as, as to whether it was going to be more like the Blind Guardian Orchestra one or the Avantasia side of things. I thought, where's it going to land, you know? Um, and although it, it, it's not really either of those, it, it's kind of its own thing, but it definitely, to me, leans more towards the Avantasia side. Um, and that it's much more enjoyable. This is kind of what I was expecting from Blind Guardian, something more similar to this. Because um, you've still got the, the, the heavy metal in there, but you've got the orchestral parts intertwined, and it, it's very... I think it works. It's like a metal opera, can, you know, like the, as the Avantasia ones are titled. It's very much, as Darcy said, the songs were actually written with uh, the opera in mind, you know, to insert pieces, you know, orchestral pieces and also the metal elements and have it all written in. Um, and this is just a work of art. Um, Udo himself he explains in the notes that this was a dream of his to do something like this. <laughs> the notes aren't there. How's that for a photograph, by the way? It's just absolutely... That's uh, the orchestra and Udo's down here and this is the, the chief orchestral man here and the other guys for the band. Um, so it's uh, Das Musikkorps der Bundeswehr. I really don't... Bundeswehr. 
not sure, you know, the exact pronunciation of German. I wasn't 100% brilliant at it. Um, so, but yeah, um, just fantastic. Neon Diamond, what a classic. Beyond Gravity. Just, um, yeah, We Are One, the title track. It's all, it's just beyond good and evil, everything. It's just a really enjoyable bit. I mean, there's some beautiful guitar solos as well. There's some beautiful orchestral uh, pieces. Uh, just, and there's not, to me, there's not too much of one thing or too much of another thing. It's a very nicely balanced uh, album. And, of course, it's, you know, a double album. And you do get an insert with the vinyl as well. It's on here that you do, you know, um, this is where he's telling you all about um, the dream of his was to, to do this type of album. Um, so yeah, and it's the band of the German Armed Forces, which is exactly what this, uh, the orchestra is. And so you've got your lyrics at this bit here. And a couple more pictures um, and again more credits uh, story so there's plenty to read up um, and you, you have the the actual the whole the the German band the you know the armed the armed forces band the members are all listed here as well so just total class you know, French horn, baritone sax, tenor sax, clarinet, piccolo flute, flute, oboe, bassoon. You've got the works, piano, double bass, tubas, trombones. Just unreal. This is just... This this is a contender all for album of the year for me. Um, definitely. It's just going straight in there. It's, I think it's probably the best... I think... Of, of the releases I've picked up so far this year, it's up there. Um, it's certainly one of the best. So, thanks to everybody. Um, and after Darcy had recommended it, I then saw a video by Renee at Holspa Metal. And he was saying, and he showed it in his video, and he says he's bought it. Um, you know, Darcy's uh, comments on it kind of convinced him to go and buy it as well. Um, so that was the second glowing report, if you like. Um, and this version, there's all different colours. I decided to go for the um, kind of um, translucent red, or clear red. And um, there's 750 in the red. And both are the same. But yeah, um, just wonderful. The only thing that I noticed with this um, is when when it arrived, there was a bit of a dent in the corner. Um, nothing huge, but it has, and, and a couple of the other records were the same because there was about three or four in the pack. But I think that was down to the fact that the male people somewhere along route must have dropped the package. And I think that's, but thankfully that was all the damage. There was no kind of other splits anywhere or no damage to the records. So there you go, guys. And there's another half an hour. Well, it's nearly half an hour. Slightly less. But um, thank you for uh, watching my blabbering. And I shall see you all in another video. Take care and see you soon. Bye just now.